All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We have an update for Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2024. We have clarification on what the actual event is going to be like in regards to the different Dragon Ball panels. As we all know, we have the Sparking Zero, Legends, Dokkan Battle, even talks about Dragon Ball Daima. We now have more information, so without further ado, let's hop straight into it. First and foremost, quickly, let's go over the history of what's been going on these last couple of days. This right here is where it all started. So the official page went ahead and explicitly stated that this event will be held offline with no live streams. When this first dropped, of course, I made a video talking about this. It was disappointing news, but it was straightforward. No, I thought nothing of it. Besides that, there's going to be no live streams, which it is what it is. Very unfortunate. However, the following day, we did get a bit more information from an inside source thanks to one of the FGC fighters commentator. We have Tyrant UK over here and they went ahead and said, I have clarification from the team that there will be streams from Battle Hour. Now, when I made a video covering this, I specifically stated that we do have to take this with the smallest grain of salt because we don't necessarily know what the stream is going to be about. He then followed up saying, to confirm, I don't know exactly what will be streamed from the event. So he didn't even know at the time. It wasn't until this morning where we got official confirmation of what this live stream that he was talking about is going to be about. And that's going to be revolving around the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour Finals. So if there's anybody down below in the comments that's looking forward to the Fighters live stream, here you have it. It's going to start on the 28th of January, which of course is the day of the Dragon Ball Battle Hour events. And you can see we have the logo at the top and left corners of this image right here. We have the official schedule. It's going to go ahead and start on the 28th, specifically at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is obviously the live stream Tyrant was talking about. Of course, again, he did not know at the time. He wasn't given all the details. He was just told that there was going to be a broadcast and he was right. So thanks to him for sharing in the first place. But to a lot of us, this isn't the live stream that we hoped for because I'm pretty sure a lot of us were going to tune in for the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero producer panel, the Daima, Dokkan Battle, Legends panels, stuff like that. So this is where all that comes to play. This morning, we got the video archives announcement, of course, from the official Battle Hour page and they tweeted we'll be posting videos of some of the stage programs through our official youtube channel once the event is over and these are all the different panels that they're talking about stage programs planned for video archives and again all the stuff that we were looking forward to <laughs> so i know this is disappointing news to a lot of us but it is what it is i don't think they're going to reconsider at this point in time because it's going to start, I believe, in two weeks at the time of recording this video. It might be a bit too late, but we could hopefully change the events of next year. If there's a 2025 battle hour, hopefully they go back to their old routes where we had multiple live streams for each Dragon Ball game. That's what happened during the first battle hour. Good times, good times, but now an online stream is no more. I do understand. It is unfortunate. Don't get me wrong. I also think the best way to go about this is hosting a live stream where we can all watch this at the same exact time. I've said this before, but not all of us could attend the event live in person. So we look forward to the live stream. Now that's not the case anymore, but we are getting video archives. So either way, we're still going to be getting the brand's new information. Plus, to be fair, they did state after the event is over right here, they will be posting it to their channels. Now, we're not too sure how fast that's going to be. It could be immediately after the event is over, or it could be the following day. Who knows? Who knows? Um, or actually, it could be even after the specific panel that ends. So, for example, this isn't confirmed, but if we do get a new Sparking Zero trailer within the producer panel right here, and then after that ends, they could update or upload the trailer to their channel immediately afterwards. 
right? And that's just pure speculation. It might be after the entire event is over, but who knows, who knows? Uh, feel free to go ahead and follow their channel. This is where they're going to be uploading everything. Of course, as soon as we get any information in regards to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, DBZ Kakarot with DLC 6, and even Xenoverse 2, if they showcase anything about that. Xenoverse 2 is not confirmed at the time of recording this video, but y'all already know I'm going to be letting you guys know day one as soon as possible. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. And no matter what, if we do get the new trailers, it's going to be extremely hyped. It's just the person I am. I don't necessarily mind that you know they're not broadcasting these events that's just my personal opinion again i know a lot of people are disappointed but for me personally it's totally fine we're going to be getting the video archives either way and it's still going to be fresh new contents and we're still going to be reacting to it as soon as they upload these to their channels so it's kind of the same in a way but again i do understand the purpose of a live stream of the hype right now since they're not hosting a live stream the hype is kind of going down a little bit but it is what it is. I don't think they can reconsider at this point. I'm just repeating myself, but let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this. Do you think it's a good decision or a bad decision? I'm just trying my best to report the news over here. Let's actually take a look at what of some of the people in the community think about this. So we have the first one right here. Whatever, I don't care about this. <laughs> Uh, hey man, to each their own, it's totally fine. I'll just watch Daima trailer and get info about games from YouTubers. Hey, that's actually pretty dang epic. We appreciate the supports. Uh, I speak for everyone in the Dragon Ball community. Take the equipment that you are using to stream fighters and please move <laughs> over to the important stuff. <laughs> Alright, this one's actually pretty funny. Hey man, a lot of people are looking forward to Dragon Ball Fighters though, to be fair. Um, yeah, you can see a lot of people aren't happy about this. Which is understandable because once again, Dragon Ball Battle Hour used to be an online event, right? We even got the app, which I spoke about in yesterday's video, where we got to create our custom characters and even watch the live stream from the app, which was pretty crazy. Either that or watch the live stream from the official uh, YouTube channel. Um, coming from a huge Dragon Ball fan since 98, not live streaming the event like previous years is a big missed opportunity for not having the Dragon Ball fandom interact with each other within our Dragon Ball community. Well said. It's too late. The hype is over. Uh, let's go Sparking Zero. <laughs> See, it doesn't really matter to some people because we're going to be getting video archives afterwards, but um, I do understand the purpose of a live stream. Uh, but yeah, you can see <laughs> we have videos oh yeah all right all right just you guys can see the general consensus of the community at least from this tweet right here thank you guys for the immense supports once again i will be covering everything xenoverse 2 dbc kakarot and sparking zero related so stay tuned to the channel of course if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace